And what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> What are we even talking? <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, you have a little box full of labels. She was on left box full for a new term called Freedom. The flag first eats twenty percent of its own body. <laughs> okay. Do you focus? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. You haven't left the house in about five weeks. Yeah, it's because you've been going out, going to the grocery store. Everything is just different. And even though so much of our lives are the same, um, because we are homeschoolers and we do spend quite a bit of our time. My life has changed. Inside of the house. My life I, I know your life has changed. Your life is the same. It was okay though. It was okay the first couple weeks. The first several weeks I was doing well. Now, it's gotten harder. Yeah. yeah it's I feel harder. like you are doing... I feel the opposite, being on the outside. Yeah. You seem a lot more at peace than you did when it first mm. happened. I told my friends to come school. <laughs> so Easter was a big deal. Um, not doing what you typically do for Easter Sunday was a major deal. Not being at church and not being yeah. around. Church family, in general. Friends. Yeah. Just the way church, everything's everything's live stream. You haven't seen everybody for yeah. going on like. Two, and you're not sure now. when you're gonna see them next because yeah. even when they open things up, like, will you gather together? Will like, you be church able to over? gather? It's like, no, like Brian. It's church is not oh, over, okay. Brian. <laughs> I was joking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Missing people in all yeah. ways. You missing people? And form. I am. Oh wow! If I Serena's am. missing people, it's it's serious now. It's real. I am. I am missing people. I mean, don't make it seem like I don't like people. I like people. I just like one-on-one -on -one interactions. Yeah. So crowds and groups of people are not my thing. But I must say, right now, I could 100% be mm -hmm. in a room full of people and feel good about it today. Wow. Yeah. So it's it's real. And it's been majorly different in our 2020 homeschool plans in our lives because we had planned to be intentionally out a lot more with the tour and stuff. And so um, it's really interesting because we made this whole transition into a more relaxed or unschooling or whatever you want to call it. And this was before um, everything really kind of um, started to unfold so quickly. And I think those first few weeks were really hard for me because I had made these plans to be out and about and a lot of our learning was going to come, um, was going to be inspired by mm -hmm. what we were doing, like where we were and what we were exploring. And so being in the house, it was kind of like, wow, do I revert back to my old plans and, you know, break out the page numbers and such, yeah. um, which we didn't, we don't, we already don't do a whole lot of, but I felt a lot of that pressure to um, really kind of adapt school at home more. It was it was challenging, um, but then I think I started to kind of like let go and relax a bit, um, and just know that like this is not your typical situation. So um, I don't have to have it all together. I don't have to feel that pressure to produce. But I think that's when we really kind of <laughs> had that week or so where we were kind of struggling with that because you wanted me to have like more of a structured routine and I just, I wasn't going to be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the la I think we did good the first couple of weeks and you and I have been more button heads like the last week or so. We kind of had what a hiccup. Are we in? I don't even days? know. I don't even know if this is going to be in order, but I think that second or third week we really started to have a hiccup with like what the routine was. 
So because, because you were like, sick. But well, even then, happened. you know, you were trying to lay it on thick with the pressure yeah, of no what pressure. the day should look like. Yes, you were. I mean, if I had to jump in and help, then I need to know what what's actually what's actually going on. Well, that was our first hiccup, probably around the second or third week. And then in the last week or so, I think we've just been really, really antsy about being confined. <laughs> it feels like it's been raining a lot. Forever. And or it's just been like that that late winter, early spring weather, really windy, really chilly. So it hasn't been you know, days where you could spend you know, the day just outside. So we've yeah. even more so just been confined. And I think you know. for me, normally I have like that homeschool mom connection with my online friends that I've developed. And I think that kind of was really cut off for me because I really tried hard to stay out of my social spaces because the tensions were so high. Um, and people were expressing more of that and I tend to like really absorb the um, Challenges and struggles of others and it's really frustrating for me So I just knew that it wasn't going to be a place where I could really be like um, I was used to being mm -hmm. to check on my yeah. um, internet friends, but I think that was hard too. So I was kind of like grieving not really having that anymore too but I don't know it's just it's everything has been so different and you're just trying to exercise patience and um, and keep your peace and just really be as creative and inventive as possible I think <laughs> what we imagine 2020 to be is not gonna be anything like what we imagined anymore doesn't seem like that yeah it's not um, I do still think that there's gonna be ways for us to accomplish like the, the heart of what we had in mind for the mm -hmm. tour and in homeschool but it's definitely gonna look a lot different so you don't think they're gonna open outside of no outside I don't think it's gonna be open I mean, and we're all being affected, but I think that really trying to keep that into perspective and understand the privilege that you do sit under, like we do get to be in a nice warm home. Yeah. Um, we do have yard space. That's something that yeah. I've been really grateful for is like having that space that in, you know, people in cities don't yeah. get that, you know what I mean? So to me, that alone is a privilege. Just really trying to stay focused on what we are grateful for in this time is so important to like check your feelings and emotions yeah. and not be so um, so fixated on the things that you don't get to do mm -hmm. and instead just grateful and living in that space of like what do I what do I get to do so not that I'm all extra wise about everything but that's what I've been trying to practice to keep me from being like completely panicked and overwhelmed um, if not for myself, but for other people mm -hmm. who uh, the hurt is a lot deeper or a lot closer to mm -hmm. them, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know, everything, you know, it is different. The kids have been on their devices quite a bit more than normal. <laughs> and I've had to just kind of roll with that. I think being a little bit, providing a little bit more guidelines, like um, restricting the amount of time they play certain types mm -hmm. of um, games, um, has kind of helped to like some days I just let changes. it go yes just, just let it go that is the truth <laughs> extracurricular activities not being here has that's a big gap it is because Savannah it had is. just started gymnastics and was um, you know she was really excited about that she was loving her gymnastics yeah. and then Cameron his soccer season had just started then he had basketball um, his spring basketball league so all of those things you know are canceled so it's, it leaves a big void. This is <laughs> what I would we do knew to how go much to a soccer, to a anyway. soccer game now. So yeah. that has been another, uh, left another gap. Hey, Vanna girl. Hi. What you reading? Um. Which book is this? Um, book five. So we're on book five of Zoe and Sassafras. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and what is she doing? The rainbow ball cracked open and it had 24 seeds in it. Okay. So they put six piles of four. She's they, trying to find, um, So they some. had six rows of plants. Wait, they had 24 plants. 
They had 24 seats stay on my page too. Here you um, go. How much is a dozen? 12. Two dozen, that's 24, 24 seats. So, and then what did you say? You said they put them in six piles. Six piles of four. Six piles of so four. Then, okay, so six piles of four. Six times four is? Six times four is 24. Yes. And 24 divided by six is? Oh, um, four. Yes. And 24 divided by four is? Um, six. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't really gotten as much footage as I wanted to lately. And mainly that's because I've been in bed yeah. or trying to get well. Mm -hmm. Just constant rotation of tea with ginger and honey and lemon and just trying to get like a handle on the way my body has been reacting to things lately I think. I had strep throat the first week that they put New Jersey on quarantine and I was basically in bed all that week and then the week after I got an ear infection uh -huh. the week after I had another <laughs> ear infection that seems to have just been lasting yeah, a long just time and I think it just hasn't helped you know with everything that's going on if you yeah. get very stressed or worried about anything or overthinking something typically she will get some kind of sick um just trying to stay well mm -hmm. and then not let your mind go to places that it doesn't need to be because obviously you're dealing with a pandemic and you know one small thing goes wrong with you and all of a sudden you're extremely panicked like mm -hmm. what do I do with going to the doctor mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you guys have had to experience that but because I haven't been well just trying to figure out like what you would normally do when you don't feel well mm -hmm. is like different now mm -hmm. and you're just trying to figure out like you know you didn't think before yeah. twice about going to the doctor or yeah. going to the dentist I've also had issues with a tooth that needs to mm -hmm. be pulled and it's like now you're having to call and see well what is the new protocol and what yeah. what do we do in this case like what do I do if this happens now like, what do I so do about just, my haircuts uh, I helped you out you did you did help me out today <laughs> but what well, about was, my actual hair uh, listen but I cleaned you up here but I wear Didn't hats 24-7 now I wear hats in the house for no reason at all. <laughs> oh, it's a reason. That's... I cleaned you up here. Show them. Yeah, Show them, friend. Do. See? I cleaned him up. See? She wanted to do the rest, but I, I don't I don't trust this. I think I, I could do it good. We're not going to talk about that, though. I can't. I can't do yeah, so we're out here curling our own hair, cutting our own hair, just doing whatever we can yeah. do. I think another thing I thought I was going to work on was uh, my fitness life. That didn't really happen for me. <laughs> muffins have been my friend you okay yeah I'm you good. okay i'm good I don't anyway but I'm, a, I'm gonna get my life together we're gonna get we're gonna do this thing together we're gonna get back together right mm -hmm. see that's why i have to be back out here with my friends because you're over here trying to play me i'm not trying to play yes you, you are so anyway we, we have been together. sitting down we've been sitting down trying to stop <laughs> We've been trying to brainstorm ways that we could just kind of connect. And I know that we had like worked on moving in a certain direction with the channel. And now since things are so different and the future looks a little bit different, um, I think it would be good for us to start to share in this space a little bit differently than we had anticipated. So, so yeah, everything has just been different, but different is can still be good. I've just been working from home um, for the last several weeks, but it has afforded me the opportunity to do more stuff with you guys. Right. So we've been doing morning walks. Which has been a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been able to do morning walks with them. We do morning um, walks, afternoon walks, night walks with just the bike, two of us. Bike rides. <laughs> yes, that's one thing you and I have started doing. So yeah. we do uh, an evening walk where there's a little circle right here. You can still see the house and we'll just walk. The kids have actually been looking forward to that because I heard Cameron tell me that he really likes that sense of, um, what did he say to me? Yeah. yeah. He said that he feels like he gets a chance to um, show that he's a bit more responsible yeah. when we go on our night yeah. walk, which literally lasts for like eight minutes. Yeah. But And we can see the house the whole time. We're just walking in a little circle down the street. Right, right. So, um, but that has been nice. So it some of those been. things. We're able to do lunch together. 
Um, but just trying to take advantage of the time, you know, you do, you know, we do that. This guy has been coming along our walk with us. I look crazy. <laughs> you had the kid's hat on. <laughs> but my ears are nice and, my ears are nice and warm and tucked in. Y'all, friends, tell us how y'all are doing out there in like week five of this quarantine okay. life. I have to admit, it's been getting a little bit rough. Heart goes out to those that this time is truly devastating for. So, I don't want to be that person that um, is complaining about the <laughs> frustrations and difficulties that they're experiencing, knowing that there are people out there that are really in horrible situations. So, that's where I stand on that. But I do know that we have our struggles. <laughs> like, I'm missing our library. And we just walk by it every day. <laughs> we can't go in, we can't gather any books from it. I'm definitely like missing our libraries. These two lovebirds. Savannah, this is supposed to be a morning walk, honey. She and said yet... she didn't have her breakfast yet. Oh, so... and that's why you. <laughs> yeah, we asked, she asked me. She asked me if I, if I wanted to be killed. I said yes. <laughs> the boys have walked ahead of us. So they're already inside. They probably started their work already because they like to get a jump start on their work. Oh, uh, look at that sweet baby holding her daddy's hand. How do you feel about joining our walks, Brian? It's one of the good perks of working from home. Yeah. And every time I think he might not be coming along for the walk, he says he's coming, so. Why you doubt me? I don't. <laughs> I'm not doubting you. I'm not. So they've gotten started and I've got this big mess here that I need to clean up because I was planning last night and I have to do her hair. We've got seeds over here that need to finish being planted. Also gotten a bit of planning time last night and got to work on our research wow. notes. Yeah, she said it was. Yeah, I don't know. This is Sabina, the detective and journalist. So, I'm gonna tell you, um, this is kind of Neil the star. Okay. So, there was this thing that, well, um, skip forward, um. So, um, where was I? But, and then she said, blow battle. Savannah has been probably affected the most. Yeah, Savannah's been hit the hardest because she is the most extroverted of the kids and mm -hmm. she was really getting into like gymnastics and um, and she gets to see, you know, her I'm girl at friends at church and things and her best friend. Um, so yeah, it's been harder for her and then keeping her um, occupied. So. I'm used to her getting that in throughout the week in those different ways mm -hmm. and then she feels, you know, like her love tank is full. Mm -hmm. So when she's home, she just kind of does her thing. But now just that 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 has been kind of challenging, managing her emotions. Because she's like on her heels. Like, yeah. She just follows us around and she's just with us. Which is nice, but mm -hmm. you just, sometimes I just feel bad because I, I feel like I don't, I don't have what, she needs, <laughs> you know what I mean? She needs something a little bit more than me and I don't have that for her right now. But she's been doing well, though. Um, one thing I wanna do, which I think we'll talk more about in upcoming videos, is really kind of rework the studio space in the garage so that she has more of like a free space to be mm -hmm. and create and things. So look, you can look forward to that. That should be fun and exciting to do with her.
Kendall's more irritated by like not being as free as he wants to be. So when you have to okay. put restrictions on him to stay far away, f further away from yeah. people or things, that was kind of hard for him. But other than that, he adapts really well. Yeah. Cameron misses his sports, but he also adapts really well. Yeah, but he mentioned to me the other day, he was like, I haven't worn anywhere, like, like That's forever. What he said? <laughs> yeah, he was like, like, like forever. Aww. Yeah, he did mention that the other day. He did. Yeah. Everything, everything starts with, but when the coronavirus leaves, we can do such and such. But when the coronavirus leaves, we can get back <laughs> to this. We can go, go, go to here and go yeah. see, you know. We want the coronavirus to leave. Yeah. Yeah, so we are changing our plans a little bit to, um, to adjust as we always do but uh, we have been brainstorming some things that we could share um, and some creative ways we could share them so if you guys have any ideas or any thoughts or things you'd like mm -hmm. to see we can add them to the mix and um, see how they fit into our days mm -hmm. but I was thinking about studio vlogs as we get that mm -hmm. space kind of together mm -hmm. um, of course our Falco family films I'm still going to be working on I am writing regularly, so um, I can share more about that. Um, I want to start answering some questions that I've gotten in the past that I haven't really gotten around to. Um, so maybe we could kind of do things that are, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so let us know. Um, some I Give us some ideas and things that we could maybe add to the mix to share during this time frame as things look a little different, but different can be good. I'm telling you, I did such a good job with that. With this. Oh my God. <laughs> did, look did, nice did. and. Woo, because he was looking rough. My hat can't come off though. I could, I could help you with that, too. Uh, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> he won't let me touch the line. I can do the side. Oh, okay. But I did a good job. You did. Look you did that. a very good job. You did a good job. Okay. Anybody else out there? Um, Who else is cutting? Is anyone of the husbands, husbands like your wife's cut their hair? <laughs> a couple of my friends have broken down. It's kind of been a little by little. What do you mean a breakdown? I, I don't mean breaking really... down. I meant. Don't try to play I me. I did a good. Been, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, it was nice to hang out with you guys, and life is surely proving itself to have many, many lessons. So, so we're living and learning. Yep, we're just living and learning. <laughs> NBA playoffs supposed to be. It's okay, babe. I know. I know. It's been it's been different. Everything is just different. Mm. But we hope you guys are well. We hope everybody's yeah, doing. Yeah, we do. Well, family safe. We'll see you in our next video. <laughs>